Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past Teachers. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. We've got Undernight, Inbirth, EXE, Lit, not slash the SD, which is the, uh, the version that's on PS4. This is the PS3 version that actually was given away for free. I'm almost sure on PS Hong Kong, I think 68 months ago. So I'm actually going to give this a try. Uh, considering the fact that this game's out for £44 on the PlayStation Network on PS4, I was curious to know what makes this game worth 50 quid on re-release. And I suppose it's mostly because it'll actually have online play, people competing against each other, and the characters are going to be appearing in the new Blaz Blue cross-tag battle game, along with the character from Ruby. So I want to know more about this game that I have as the most awkward title, while also at the same time has weird vampire chicks in it. So I'm always going to be on board with this. So uh, literally, I'm playing this for the first time. I have no idea. So as part of, I suppose this would be cold open more than a retro kid. Even though I'm playing it on a slightly older console, this would be a cold open for Under Birth in Night Exile Last ex um, something or other. I don't know. <laughs> Arc System Works, bringing you fighting game every year just to empty your pot. Soft circle French bread? Hmm. That's like a really nice breakfast. Oh, there's actually a full intro and all. Happy days. Oh, it's a red sky set. Turtles episode. Oh, we got a full. We got, we got full anime intro now. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for this. Hide and jackals. Yes. I honestly swear to God, I thought that was a wolf behind her. Oh, the moon's going down like a Christmas. Things are quite they all are favorite group of course, the look uh, high schoolers, but then they actually, yeah, they don't the speak. This is like high schoolers by persona, you know? What you have Dude, that one looks like it's actually a combat animation in the background as well. Night Resurrection Night Bravery and Invite. Alright, Reverie and Invite. And Seven Days Immortal on Real Black Thing. Hi! Undernight in breath, in breath, undernight. I uh, don't know which one it is. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle! We got fun games! We get to re release our stuff and pay full price again! Welcome to the jungle! <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? Uh, first CPU for our arcade mode. Um, I'm assuming there actually is. Oh, yeah, the storage arcade mode. Uh, that's a boring process. Network mode. Yeah, Product contact training mode. Customize mode. What is customize mode? Is this actually like a uh, color customization? Icon. Alright. Oh, I can use one of them. Maybe when you have money to spend on it. Uh, replay mode. Gallery mode. Oh, right. It actually has uh, three opening movies. Uh, yes, lit. What's the difference between... I'm just curious now, I actually want to know what the difference between the original arcade and the end game one is, and the update one. Oh, Divide! I'm so gonna get caught right now for everything. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I also thought that it was going to be very similar, but it actually is distinctly different. Uh, fair play for that. Yeah, is it, the full game like animated a track for the arcade mode. Makes sense. Um, we'll go for the uh, EX Lift. So there, the, the one that's actually out in the PS4 is the third version, so it's EX Lift slash ST. Big hit. Oh, 
Female star of the show. I like the fact she's like a small bit on a secret razor blade sword. That's kind of cool. Caroline, the Iori of the game. She's <laughs> even doing the fucking hunt. <laughs> uh, Gordo, most chest big jacket man. Batista, the creepy floating girl. It looks like her hair is actually holding her up there. Loving her invisible wing. Yuzi here, Riha, uh, former Yakuza lady slash Shinzen Gumi. I don't know. Chaos, the reader, Yakuya, probably this girl's brother. I've got a feel. I'm just taking a wild guess. Like Batista and Yakuya are related. I'm just. Uh, I'm before I even look at the story. Akatsuki um, also looks new. Looks like a fist of hand to hand fighter with a demon eye. Fair enough. Let's take a slide. We're going to take one of the girls, obviously. Tempted to take Hilda, but Hilda, Lynn. Nanase and Elfnum. Not take Elfnum. I don't know. I just don't know why. I actually I just really like the long ponytail. Purple. Purple's my color. Ah! Oh, fuck. God damn it! You say purple's my color and immediately choose the yellow costume. Ah! No translation! The ring is a fist. Where am I? I to be sent out to such a remote area. It kind of sucks to be this popular. And the creators, they just sent a door and introduced the guest character to the original Inver. <laughs> Alright, so this is the guest character. I'm assuming Elfnum is from another game. Melty? Melty was? So is that Arcana Hearts that's Melty Blood? Was she from Arcana Hearts? Because I played Arcana Hearts before, but I still don't know the game series that well. Oh, these pixels! <laughs> Wider than usual, oh my god, all these pixels. If you were in the middle of the Alright, that for a vlog? Yeah, that's pretty good for a vlog, to be honest. No, no, this is what normally guest characters should do and hope for a start. How would you be taught to be taught by their elders? Right. Jesus Christ! It's like such a weird fourth wall breaking choice for characters. I'm sorry for not picking a character that's actually related to the story of the game, but I actually am entertained by this anyway. Uh, Immortalized! Ba -ba 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 <laughs> it's a lost. Hurry, void effect! Fast cross. Divide. Slide air! 
Go to the next stage! Immortalize your battle! Now, I'm, I'm actually I'm enjoying this as a fighting game. Um, I literally had no idea what Undernight Under Night Inverse and Under Night was actually about. I still have no idea because of the fact that it's really hard. I don't know what the actual RT is story. But I still enjoy it. Dude, I'm like, I'm only about something to tell me if I'm going to do it. Somebody who's probably necessary to be able to possess you guys to fight. I'm also kind of getting a little bit of an easy ride of it here. Get a little bit of an easy ride of it here because of the game. A little bit dumb. I don't know if I'm going to play this online. I will get my ass. Almost. Divide. Do not understand the relevance of the bar of the bottom though. I understand so it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, not the bar of the bar of the bar. I don't know if it's like a slow momentum or special attack. <laughs> Since you have to figure this out as we go along. Oh, Hilda! Yes! The lady I wanted to meet. Oh shit, didn't even realize she had a demon eye. You must be Hilda, the evilest of all evil in the story. You must run behind all of you. Self-aware awareness. Awareness of the character and of the story. Let's talk about each other while we're aware of the story and the character. A bizarre channel interpreter, the result of a butterfly effect, the problem of the deviant flesh. That is what I am. People will always think to the sum of the folks in order to survive. Jesus Christ. I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Like, you came from an entirely different universe. That's the kid that I thought you were determination. It's kind of weird to actually have characters that do come from another universe actually making kind of contextual sense. Like, literally, they like walk through a portal, arrive in, and go like, Right, this is, this is actually making more sense about the portal relevancy of the two worlds connected together than Marvel vs. Capcom have when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or what, Infinite. I think it's actually making more sense than this with one random character walking in than everything that's in that entire universe. 
So is she becoming in birth character? She literally like transitions from one universe to another, and is now she just has an in birth character. I would like to. I'm very curious to know about the SP just to see if it's See if we can make it to the EXS. To NXS. That's all couple by. Thank you. We're talking about the extended perspective. He is a sweetie bitch. I like it. Hi, Yori. How are you doing? Actually, it's Yori crossed with Breed from Full Metal Alchemist. Fast Cross. Divide. そこだ。せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ、せ
予測すちいかとは、私にはベルトの。セカンドクローン、ディバイド。スネガーのそこです。スネガーのそこです。もしかしてあなたにも白いそっくりさんがいたりはするのですかこう雪や氷をふわヒーローそのような姉妹機は存在しませんほんの冗談ですよ冗談分かっていますそれではおそらくその質問も該当事項は存在しませんイグジストもファルストも微妙に異なる力のコンビニを操るものまったく親和性の高いネタを振ったつもりでしたがこれだけの絶好球を2つともするとは情けない最近沈黙系プラスボスドリ系とつぼを得ているあなたにならこの世界を渡っていくためのアドバイスなど不要だと思って何か面倒な気配がするので私はここから撤退をしますあなたは虚無異端外のものであると判断した私の敵対性ですか<笑>そうですねルーキーへのレクチャーという名の敵対性これをたくさん持つ従って話は別になるので我々がここで戦う理由があるということさあ恋のタイムしよう知りなさい厳しさをこの世界にいる以上いつ<笑>あなたはまず無謀という言葉を言うのは正解です。
とも呼べぬものでした。あまりのテレビにおきて。バトルズオーバー、でも、concern how stupid simple it was to win, it's hardly worth concern in a battle. Well, that was true. I mean, she didn't actually retaliate until like the last half of her second bar of hell. It's like, eh. Gordo. I'm on stage nine now, so hopefully, there's actually. Hi, story scene! Those graceful movements. No, I've seen them somewhere before. She said she was able to see lines when she was. I don't believe in that mumbo jumbo.
ちょっと<笑> ファーストクロースディバイド。やっ。ええ。なかなかやら。固めるすごい。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ
この夜には変な連中が。おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、おお、不甲斐なさは到底許されるものではないようやく確証を得ましたどうやらちょっとアーケードで長売れた程度で調子に乗ってオリジナルを始めたというのも事実のポールかなしかしこれも後輩の育成新人教育の場だと思えばいい10人の好きがもたらした決して及ばぬ実力でしたまあそれもそれとしてコンパネにファーストクローンリバイトリバイトセカンドクロースリバイド。私がかつて戦ってきたこのゲームも初めてにしては頑張っているようですがフランスパンがどんなに頑張ろうとこの舞台は次のメルブラのためのスペースその経験値は全てとはいえこうなるとメルブラの方が出るまで先は伸ばそうですそれまでの暇つぶしとしてしばらくこちらにとどまるとしましょうかしかしキノコめ一体いつになったら次の新作に着手するのかあの男もそれなりに働くのですがいかんせん雑務が多い思えば物語の主役として生み出され既存の輪に放り込まれているのようやく輪に溶け込み周囲に認められるんですがそれも悪くはありませんね企画者から生まれた身であればこそ世界の垣根は越えやすいようだ私はここ10年を忙しく行き過ぎました
Blue Blaze Cross Tag Battle, baby! Blue Blaze Cross Tag Battle! All of you in verse, I hope when the time is right, I'll be able to see you again. I pray that you'll stay well and fun to leave my love now that I'm free of their Kinoko's shackles, <laughs> I'm assuming that's a representation of the creator. Ah, uh, right. So that was uh, me playing as the guest character from Melty Blood. I'm thinking that I'm just saying, I keep on saying Melty Blood, I keep saying Melty, and then the back I'm thinking, I know there was a fighting game series that was Melty Blood. So I'm thinking that might be it, that's where she comes from. If you don't recognize her otherwise, I think it was Stab in the Dark. And the fact that she is appearing in this game as a male character, it makes me kind of go, Ooh, blue, 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 blue cross tag battle. Is, is it? Is cross tag battle being designed for the purposes of um, creator characters being able to drop back from other game series that hasn't actually had, like she said, the HD remaster or HD release or the upgraded release? It makes sense in a lot of ways. It's actually, because they got Ruby kicked in there, and I'm like, right, well, that's actually that's a new character, a new franchise, and I'm very well known, and I'm very popular on the series to be playing there. Um, this fighting game, I had not heard sweet the hell about it, even from people who were fighting game aficionados, until Cross Tag Battle came out. And even then, after that, it's kind of like maybe they forgot for the Ruby stuff that was going into it. Um, and the Persona 4 Arena, so it's actually like Persona 4 Arena, uh, Blaz Blue. Under birth in night, under night in birth. That's what under night in birth. Um, and now multiple characters showed up in this. And I'm like, mm, I can get on board with that. I, I could definitely get on board with that if they actually like put everybody in for the purposes of actually like actually doing a king of the fighter, king of fighters. That's you didn't think about it. A king of fighters style game for Arc System Works now would be mildly. Fucking terrifying for how would you balance that? Could could we get the crazy ass yeah, bullshit no. of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 from Arc System Works? Could could they actually like literally go like, well, we don't have the rights to a whole bunch of like Marvel characters, but we have released like 42 games in the last 15 years. <laughs> like like So many characters! And so like especially with the fact that um they're still they're staying with the older style. This style with uh, blue blood blue cross tag battle, as they took all the characters from their older franchise. Like that's the same way they just like sprite stole for Capcom Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and then had a few extra characters added in. Which um, was about that was actually decent. Like, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 had a lot of new sprites in it, even though it was like less than so many from older games. But essentially, like all the time they would have spent creating those other sprites, they put it into new characters. So in the case of Blast Blue, in the case of that, that's the Ruby characters. Meanwhile, the rest of these are ones that get just lift from these. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have thoughts. Thoughts in my head are starting to kind of peel together. And we're like, could they? Could they? Do, could we literally be looking forward to a new Marvel vs. Capcom two level madness game coming out from Arc System Works, which is going to be like almost a sound hit coming out compared to? The big release of Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and of course the um... oh, the recent release of uh, Undernight in Birth EXE Late Slash SD. <laughs> it's like yeah, there's there's way too many games. To be oh man! Yay! Yay! Oh. So nice. Um, oh, was I actually there? What time going? Oh, the character select artwork? Yeah. And... Um, oh, her victory on the screen, yeah. And... Um, her conversational on Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> because each character's gonna have one for each one of those. But, uh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! I like that. Oh, gee, I wanna buy... Oh, I do wanna buy, buy the chibi album, but I also wanna see what I'm over here. But, um, yeah. That was... That was fun to actually play through. I enjoyed, uh, Undernight in Birth. That was that was good crack. Uh, admittedly, I played through with a character that wasn't your standard expected kind of like a mainstream character of the series. If you want to see more Undernight in Birth here on the channel, feel free to actually say so in the comments. Comment about what I got wrong, what I didn't understand, how badly I was playing the game. Whatever you feel like, feel free to do so. This is a, a cold open slash retro cade look at one of the previous releases of Undernight in Birth. Available on PS3. Uh, was previously actually a PS Plus title as far as I know. But you can check it out for yourselves, and of course, the new release is available on PS4. Thumbs up to Arc System Works.
who do a great job of entertaining so thank you very much for watching i will see all you dudes in the next video and if you happen to be watching this on youtube there will be three boxes one up there will be a playlist one over there will be the most video we're here will be a video just for you based on the youtube analytics and the things you do on youtube make sure you hit that make sure to comment make sure to subscribe there's always a button like this somewhere on the screen you hit i will see all you dudes in the next time bye